All right, so uh, I wanted to take a minute to show you guys something that I use to help my students, which is a screen recording. And actually to do this, I use PowerPoint. Um, so if you wanted to do this, uh, here's how. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna load up what we're actually gonna use to write on to demonstrate our work for our students. I use Active Inspire, as you can see here. And what I'm gonna do is uh, open a PowerPoint. So if you have a Word document that you would like to, um, to use, just go to File, Save, and then um, the file type underneath the, where it says the name you type in, just change that to a PDF and you can save it that way. So we're gonna go to File, Import, PDF, and then once you select PDF, you can go ahead and pick whatever uh, PDF you have. Go look in the folder and you can find it. So find your folder, open up the PDF. All right, um, once it's open, you can go ahead and write on it, just like normal with our pen here. And then once you're sliding around, that's gonna stay up, up on top. Once we're done um, and we have this, we're gonna go to File, and we can actually save our work that we just did as a PDF by going to Print or Export, your choice. Okay, if we go to Export, it's all pages to um, a PDF. But if we go to Print, we wanna make sure this is all is selected. If we have like um, just a few pages, it'll only print those pages even if there's more. So All, and then we can click on export to PDF from here and then um, select our file or our location we wanna save. So once we have, uh, rewinding here, once we have our Active Inspire up, we're gonna go full page here. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and load up PowerPoint. So go ahead and open PowerPoint for yourself. You'll get this window to open on your screen. We're gonna go ahead and select blank presentation, okay? And this window is gonna pop up. So once we're in this window, we're gonna select our insert from our toolbar up top. We're gonna to go over to the last option, which is screen recording. And once we select this, we're gonna get a uh, window. It's actually gonna revert back to the Inspire window here. And we're gonna have a little plus sign, which we can use to select the area we wanna record. So go ahead and select in the corner. You can drag it all the way down. I got to about here until when I screenshot it. If you mess up or you wanna change it, just go ahead and hit select area on the little menu here, and that'll let you do that. Once you have your area selected, okay, we're gonna go ahead and hit record. So when you hit record, you'll get the menu that pops up, three, two, one, and it's gonna go live. And as soon as that goes away, whatever program you had opened before PowerPoint opened, it's gonna revert right back to it, okay? So now I can um, start my lesson with my students, you know, I can talk about our angles. I can start, you know, drawing on it, talking just like normal, and um, we're good to go. Uh, really good option of PowerPoint. It allows you to pause. So if you scroll up to the top, you can see as I get here, this little menu opens. So this is the menu that'll open. Um, you can select pause. So if one of your, um, something's happening in the background and it's distracting, or you need a minute to think about something, go ahead and hit pause, or you want to set a question up and you don't want to have students to wait. Um, the other option is stop. If you click stop, that is the end of the video. There is no undoing that, okay? Um, and then your audio, you can toggle it on or off as well as the pointer for your recorder. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and um, wrap up our video. So we've done our video, we worked through it. Uh, we now know how to pause. So when we're done, we're gonna go ahead and select our stop button. As soon as we click stop, it, the video stops and it opens back up PowerPoint. Now this little window right here is our actual video, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna save that video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on our screen, so the, on the mouse pad, or if you're using a mouse or anything else, right click on it, and when you do right click, you're gonna get this menu to pop up, okay? So to save it, we're gonna go to Save Media As, and you'll get this window that pops up, that asks where do you want to save it to. So go ahead and select whatever the file that is. Um, remember that file because you're going to need to get it if you want to post the video anywhere. You can title it, okay, and it will save as an MP4. Go ahead and click Save. That's it, guys. Your file is now saved on your computer. It's saved as an MP4. You can upload it to Schoology. You can go ahead and uh, whatever other program you want to put it on, you can use that as well. Um, and then like, like we said, when you're done, you can go ahead and then save um, our work that we were doing in, uh, as a PDF 
and upload that so the students also have a completed copy. That's it for today in this video. Um, anything else, feel free to uh, ask a colleague. Thanks. See you guys later.